We are being asked to find the constant differences of this cubic function, y equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. We could actually calculate this by hand, but let's not do that. Let's calculate it using a spreadsheet. Now I've set up a column of x values, and now I need to calculate the y values. In other words, the things that will come out of this function when the x values are put into it. And so I have my x value negative 4 is in cell B3. So this is how we proceed. The equal sign, what is in B3, and we are going to cube it, and then we are going to add 2, and here's the key point, 2 times B3, which is my x value, squared minus 3 asterisk B3, which is my x value, plus 2. And that is how I express that polynomial in a spreadsheet. Excel's just going to take a little time to calculate that. Okay, so now that I've typed that in, here's what I am going to do. I'm going to edit fill down just like that. Okay, that is why spreadsheets are a beautiful thing. Now I am going to calculate the differences. We are going to take the output here in cell C4 and subtract the previous output in cell C3. And so we're going to go equals C4 minus C3. Okay, and I can see that 2 minus negative 18 is 20, so I have not made any mistakes. Now, here is how I fill down. Good! Spreadsheets are a beautiful thing. These are the first differences, and as I can see, the first differences are not constant in this case of this cubic function. And so we are going to keep going with our calculation of the first differences. Now, because I'm taking this, this cell and subtracting this cell, I can really only go like this. Okay, so now I've copied that difference over. I'm going to copy it down. Okay, so these are the second differences. And I can see that the second differences are still not constant. And so I'm going to take another step. Copy over. There we go, 6. I'm going to copy down. And I can see that the third difference is are constant. And so that's how I make a spreadsheet calculator. Relatively simple. Just imagine a, a matter of copy and paste. The only weird thing is trying to get this formula right. You have to really remember that the asterisk means times and the little hat thing means uh, to the exponent and that you can use cell addresses instead of x's.